people. I believe that Chicago is the next it city. I believe that people don't know it, but Chicago is it right now. Um, I just think the difference between the Chicago movement and maybe any, uh, all the other movements from the different regions is that um, we don't necessarily shout the crib on every record. You know, I feel like artists from Chicago have been on this mission to make worldwide music and kind of dominate on a larger scale. And I think when you make regional music, it feels good when you're from that region and you're like, that person is repping, but then there's a there's somebody who doesn't live in that area who's kind of looking at that music and saying, well, I, I don't really understand it. So once that novelty wears off, uh, it's like, well, I don't know much about Atlanta, but I can listen to a Yin Yang record, or I can listen to a Jeezy record. But once that novelty wears off, it's like, who are these people as artists? That's not to knock Yin Yang or Jeezy. I think those are artists that in their own right are very creative, but I just use them as examples. Um, when you look at somebody like Kanye West, he's, he makes timeless music to have as a representation of the type of artistry that comes from your city. I think Lupe makes timeless music. I think Ryan Fest makes timeless music. I think I aim to make timeless music. Even cats like Twist, I think, you know, if you're into what they do, it, it's gonna last the test of time. I can listen to Adrenaline Rush to this day. Like, it's not gonna go sour on me. It's still like the artistry is still gonna be there. I can listen to the college dropout right now. It's still gonna sound dope. And it doesn't matter if we're yelling South Side, West Side, or whatever on every song. If they make a, a list of the dopest hip hop albums that come out in the past 10 years, you're gonna have a lot of Chicago artists on there. And that alone is like the sleeper. Chicago is like the kid on the basketball court who averages 20 and 10, but you don't realize it until the game's over and you look at sports and, you know what I'm saying? We're not the, we're the workhorse. We're like the Elton brand of, of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, you need a player like that to win a championship. You know what I'm saying? We're not the flashy, everything, everyday. We have a lot of everyday people who talk about everyday struggles. So that's not always gonna get the, the big firecracker attention, you know, but firecrackers burn out quickly. You know what I mean? So that's, that's really what you see. You don't see too many one hit wonders from Chicago. You see cats that even if they get on, they get on and they have longevity. And that's kind of what we're built on. So that's why I feel like we're it right now. And there's a lot of diversity. There's way more diversity in this city with the artists that are signed and coming out, I feel like, than any other area. And, and when you can pinpoint a sound and say that's that city sound, that's usually when it gets stale and it wears out. And you can't really do that because every every album, most of the cats that I just named, they transform. Every time I make an album, I'm trying to transform. So you're not gonna get in crowd next year. Same way you didn't get um, School's My Hustle this year. You know what I'm saying? By the time you catch on to what I'm doing, I'm on to the next thing. I was just watching VMAs. Cats is like, Kanye just singing now. He ain't even rapping. But like, that's where he's at right now. That's where his artistry is at. That's where his creativity is at. But that don't mean it's not gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. And it's still Chicago. Once we get to stop hating on one another a little bit more, we'll, we'll be in a better place. You know? Chicago is a city of hella rappers. So when people come out, People aren't sitting at home wanting to cheer for that person. They sitting at home wanting to get on through that person. And if they don't get on through that person, then it turns into, I'll oh, forget him. He ain't repping how I was supposed to rep anyway. People need to respect each other's space and just let people shine. Because the more people that get to shine from this city, the more interest is generated. You know, I talked to Quest Love one time and he said like, Every album that comes out is like a flyer. You know, if the fan gets a flyer, they, they're interested by looking at the flyer. They're gonna wanna come to the party. So the more Chicago artists that's putting out flyers, the more fans is gonna be like, what's going on in that city? I just wanna know what's going on in that city. So even if I don't rap like Young Bird, I don't rap like Twista, I don't rap like Shauna, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. The fact that they came out is giving me a lane to talk about Chicago, you know what I'm saying? So if I come out, the next person can talk about Chicago. You know, the fact that I scream out Hyde Park on records is gonna give some cat from this neighborhood the ability to go get a record deal. 
whether they want to give me credit for it or not, it doesn't matter. I'm not, I don't even want credit for it. But my whole thing is, I just want people to realize that this this area exists, and this area, you know, what I'm saying, is relevant to the city. So I'm gonna rep it. You know what I mean? And and that's what I think we need to do is just stop thinking about Chicago as one unified front and realize how big our city is and just respect each other's space. You know what I'm saying? Because the reality is a dude from Hyde Park ain't the same as a dude from K-Town. Ain't the same as a dude from Country Club Hills. Ain't the same as a dude from the Hunnets. So if we got that much diversity in neighborhoods, why wouldn't we have that much diversity in rappers? But that don't mean we disrespect each other's space. I wouldn't go into K-Town, who riding, talking about y'all whack, y'all whack, gang banging on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't see nobody from K-Town coming into Hyde Park trying to shoot up University of Chicago. Like, that's not... We respect our own space in that regard, so we need to respect our own space and let each other shine in this same regard, you know what I mean? Except when it comes to girls. That's the only time you see cats going, branching out, like a dude from the west side might come to Hyde Park to get a girl that he thinks is fly. A dude from Hyde Park might go to the west side. That's the same type of mentality we need to just have, is let people have their own space and respect it. You don't have to like it, but just respect that that's what they do. And they come from your city, so why hate on it? Because it's gonna make everything look better and bring more attention to us.